Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Whittle, and I'm here to give you a lesson on how to create a Google spreadsheet and then use the information from the spreadsheet to create a graph. So you can see I've already logged on to my Google account and I've gone to my drive and now I'm ready to hit create and this time I want to choose spreadsheet, the green one. So the very first thing I want to do is give my spreadsheet a title. So I'll click on Untitled Spreadsheet. And for this one, since I did a survey about different kind of pants people wear, I'll name it Pants, pants Survey. And I'll say OK. Now I'm ready to start putting in my information. So I'm going to first start with the different kinds of pants I surveyed my friends on. So I'm going to start with jeans. And then I did um, sweatpants. And then we did um, leggings. And then I said khakis. And I'm going to say that there were five people that said they liked wearing jeans. There were eight that liked sweatpants. There were another four that said leggings were OK. And khakis, we had three people. So now that I've entered that information, what I'm going to do is click and hold and drag my mouse across all of those cells that have information in them. Notice I've not highlighted or clicked over any of the cells that don't have any information. Now I want to insert my graph or chart, so I'll click on chart. And right away I can see that it's already created what my chart might look like if I had my bars going to the side. But for this one I'm going to choose my bars going up and down. This is the best chart for the information that we have. So I click on insert. One of the really cool things that we can do is take this chart and when I click on it, the little arrow up in that right hand corner, I can click on that and put my chart onto its own sheet. So what you're going to see now is that on sheet one, that's where my information is. And here on the next sheet, my chart is on a whole nother page. So the first thing I might want to do is click on my chart title and give it the name of the chart. So that would be favorite pants. And I can even make some changes to that by making the font a little bigger and maybe even changing the color of it. The next thing I want to do are some more advanced editing things. So I'm going to click on advanced edit. And the first thing is that on our chart, we see this little box and that's normally there when we're going to have a couple of different things that we've surveyed on, maybe different kinds of jeans, whether it was different colors or so forth. So at this point, this is called your legend and we don't really need that. So I'm going to go over here on the left and I'm going to click on this arrow and say that I really don't want a legend. So I'll say none and you can see that removes it from my chart. The next thing I need to do is name what this axis is. What are jeans, sweatpants, leggings, and khakis? Well, they're kinds of pants and that's called my horizontal axis. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I can see that here I have axis and the horizontal one. So I'm going to give it a title. And as I said, these were different kinds of pants. So I'll just say pants. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow. And now I want to add my vertical axis. So that's going to be up this side. And those numbers represent the number of students that I surveyed. And it looks pretty good. I think I've got all the information on there that I really need. There's one more thing that we can do if you want to have a little bit more fun. We can certainly click on the boxes of our bars and I can even change the color. So you can see there were other things that I could do to make this chart a little fancier. I could have changed the font style and um, how big it is for both my access titles if I wanted to. Um, so those are things you might want to play with. But this is basically how we can go ahead and add a graph um, to our spreadsheet and graph some data that we've collected. So I hope you can use this.